Hey. Hi. Is she ready? I'm taking her to Logan Hardware. You know... It's not a hardware store? It's a record store. Yeah. Um, Bao's actually not feeling well. She has, like, a fever. Like a fever. Right. Hey, Vic. Hey. How's it going? Hey, 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 hold on a minute. I gotta go. Is Elaine around? No, but she left some clothes for you there in that bag. Well, this was a great visit. I'm sorry, Jules. How are you doing? Fine, yeah. Will you tell Val, uh, I hope she feels better. We'll try again another day. Of course. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. Doing this for mom. Hey, you feeling better? Yeah. I'm going out with Vic for a bit. Uh, maybe when I come back, we could catch up. Yeah, that sounds great, Dad. All right. Wait, Jack. Hey, can I talk to you for a sec? Uh, sure, when I come back. I got a call from the FBI. The FBI? About Carson. Quincy something or other. I don't know what to do. That's OK. It's all right. Do you remember when you asked me to destroy documents? That was a good thing. Trust me, that's not a problem. There is a problem. What's the problem? The problem is I didn't destroy the documents. I kept a copy. Where are they? I think they're safe. Did you say anything to her, Quincy Theringer? No. OK, all right. We'll talk when I get back. You and me, we'll figure this out, all right? OK. Hey. Thanks for meeting me. Who are you? Quincy Theringer, FBI. Not meeting you. You just showed up here. Oh, yes, that's right, I did. Anyway. This could be a productive relationship. I'm in a relationship. You help me with Karsten, I help you with the IRS. I don't have any problems with the IRS, and I can't help you with Karsten. You don't have anything incriminating against Karsten? I don't even know what that means. You're not hiding anything? No. Documents? No. What if we searched your house? Searched my house? No. Well, we'll find out in about 20 minutes. <laughs> 